Hey guys, I'm Lynn Gilmartin for Poker News at the 2010 Aussie Millions. Now this championship series has got off to a fine start with the opening event attracting a total of 1,143 entrants, 919 of which were unique, with the other 224 taking advantage of the Rapid Charge format and trying their luck for the second time. With those figures, the prize pool is a whopping 1.14 million Aussie dollars. The top 108 places will be paid at least 2.2 thousand, right up to the first place prize of 200 thousand dollars, and of course, the official championship ring. As for the day 1C field, 459 players filled out the Crown Poker Room and 82 of those just finished bagging up their chips, including Peter Aristidou who didn't have one of the easy tables to start the day, with Cloney Gowan to his left and Leo Boxall across the felt. But he has outlasted both of them and finished the day with 142,000 in chips. But it was Nick Haydaris who finished the day as the chip leader. Oh, I just uh, had a, I didn't get involved in too many big pots, just chipping away all day and ended up with about 165 I think I got, so yeah, happy with that. Also returning is JP Kelly who I caught up with earlier today, so be sure to check out that interview on tv.pokernews.com. But those who aren't fortunate enough to return for day two include Sorrel Mitzi, Joe Hashem, Mel Judah, Lee Nelson and our very own Tony G. I made a push with 10 deuce against Queens. Unfortunate you know, to run into Queens, but yeah, I mean, I was just you know kind of having fun and still in a holiday mode and you know just gearing up for the 100k event, which I'm going to really focus on. A total of 193 players will return for day two with day one A's Zen Xenophontis leading the pack in the three day ones combined leaderboard. Not too far behind him is Jim Masterakos, and of course today's chip leader Nick. As always, stay tuned to the live reporting section of Poker News for all of the action here from the Crown Poker Room for the 2010 Aussie Millions. I'm Lynn Gilmartin for PokerNews.com.